Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our All of Your Trade or Belong to Us campaign in Europe Universal 4. So we won a war, another day's past. Uh, Austria, wait, Castile no longer considers Austria to be a rival. They've rivaled Morocco. Portugal is, yeah, whatever. People, people are rivaling people and things. All I know is I want to expand and convert the heathen, the infidel. Ottoman have rivaled Bohemia. I guess Bohemia is getting pretty strong. They, they did prove themselves in the last war. They're on an equal footing with France. They can, they're, that is a very, very, very good leader. There goes one of ours. I'm going to keep on sending our guys up to that node. Just to see if there's any chance we can maybe get this achievement knocked out. We could make a lot more money if I actually had the remaining provinces in this node. But 83% control without having any boats here is pretty good. Surprisingly, only 33.4% modifiers. Maybe I should go trade ideas. It certainly would make it a lot easier just because of the extra merchants. But, if I'm going to collect in multiple nodes, I'm not going to get transferred trade anyway. Hmm. Alright, so what are we doing with our armies and stuff? Got a little bit of naval force limit available. Only at about half land force limit, no manpower. Seven boats in the queue. Get a few more. I believe I had just transferred a few guys over. Preparation to continue the Crusades. So Ethiopia, my my fellow here. Let's see what we've got. We've got um, got our alliance with Morocco for absolutely no reason at all. We've spat out Ethiopia, and we've spat out Gaian. Now Gaian only has two cores, but I'll still probably feed most of the uh, Champagne and yeah, the node to him just so that we can spend some diplo points on that. We're still really, really far behind on admin, despite the cheap corn costs over here. Oh, did I just see that Karibas has declared an independence war? Hopefully they lose, because we'd actually prefer for them to just become our, our union member. He's still too large for me to actually full annex, and Castile's going to be a long ways off as well. Actually, they're about the same. Wow. So, that must mean Portugal's got a lot of overseas provinces. Well, let's start off by perhaps attacking you. Do we have any cores? No. Truce with you? It says that it expires in 1636, which I think is wrong. I think it's actually already expired because of the, uh, the five-year guarantee kind of exploit thing. So as soon as we have a diplomat available and we can declare war, let's check. Yep, no truce. Okay, so we bring in Kaffa, but Kaffa it actually shows us as having a truce with. Oh, interesting. So even though I don't technically have a truce, I kind of do have a truce. <laughs> That's so weird. I can't, I can't um, co-belligerent to them. Even though we don't have one on either. Well, let's attack this guy, since he's got more cores. The nation of Portugal, your faithful, your brothers and sisters in the faith, is requesting you come to their aid in the Moluccan conquest. Okay, sure. 
I'm the defender of the faith. I'll help Portugal. Why not? I certainly don't want to lose stability. Smugglers shall dominate. Now Castilian Brazil has declared independence. Hmm. It's not what I wanted. I don't want them to break free. So we ended up at war with uh, Morocco. So much for that alliance, huh? So it was Malacca attacking over provinces over here. And he's allied with Morocco. He called in Morocco against Portugal. And now we are at war with what used to be our ally. Not in a war that we can like actually influence the colonial nations or anything. But there are <clears throat> 30 ships over here that I can kill. Nothing to convert, nothing to core. Where are you retreating? Okay, that's war number one down. Force of religion? I don't think we actually get papal influence for that. I'm not sure. No current missions available. It's kind of weird. Well, we'll just siege down both of those forts. And up here, we're going to focus on the navy. We're going to catch him? Sadly, no. Look at that. We're actually allies with France in this war. He's, he's called in all of his buddies. I have no idea why that navy just came out. There are 15 heavies out there, so I'd rather not send these ships out if I don't need to. Uh, we're getting really high on Diplo points. As per always. We could do some more culture conversion, since we have fully religious. Might not be a horrible idea. This is kind of a long-term investment, since... I don't really want to have to spend points coring every single province, but... I can't get the papal influence if I don't convert it, so... had a few rather unfortunate sieges where I'm not succeeding for some reason. Alright. Um, he's already taken care of that province. Let's, um... There's another fort over there. Alright, just march straight to it. And then... I think we will just put this full army over here. 15 military tech. And there's plenty of space for all these armies to just move over at once. I'd like another leader. Pretty thoroughly bad. I like the siege value, but it's probably one of the weakest generals I've rolled in a while. So, do we do some Diplo conversion? Why not? Let's just, let's just pick cheap stuff. It's at the top of the list. I don't even really want to pay any attention to it. That's probably how most genocide happens. I just don't really want to pay any attention to it. <laughs> just... Just do it. Stupid... Stupid people that don't believe what I believe. They have different histories and stuff. That power projection is getting awfully low. He didn't even transfer back control of his province because he really wants it, huh? Cool. Seems fine. Manpower is kind of low right now. There's no way he's going to finish his siege, right? This is a good engagement, for sure. 
Yep, very good. That fully defensive and desert warfare pair defense stuff, that's not cool. Portuguese Mexico took a colony from Portugal. I think they're going to break free. I don't really think there's very much I can do about it either. Let's see down garb so we can kill the rest of Morocco's navy. Hey look, France is coming to help. See, we can be friends. We don't have to be enemies. Except for when they take stuff that I want. Or, yeah, have valuable provinces that I want. In which case we have to be enemies. That's pretty likely to be the rest of those ships dead. Yep, not a one survived. We'll go repair. Okay, um, let's see if we have enough war score to actually take these provinces. So anything that's zero dip is going to be the right religion. Or sorry, the right, right land. And it is their cores. I believe, though, to get the zero... Okay, one, two, three, four. And then to get the other one... Was Axum. I think you do have to actually occupy it. Unless I want to use Return Core. It's not even showing up on the list. Axum. Yeah, they have to be occupied. Well, it's just a one siege. Should be fairly quick. So do we just take back the cores in this war, since that's the CB that I used? Seems fine. I mean, there's no real rush to make it faster. It does mean that I'll need to start the war with Killwell right away. Otherwise, I mean, these cores, aren't, they, I think he doesn't have to core anything. Like, he's ready for more right now. Okay. Zero dip ten prestige seems fine. Um, might as well take war reps. Then we'll do our guarantees again. So that's almost all of your cores. Now we just need to attack Kilwa. But in this case, rather than doing um, reconquest, I think I will just do a, uh, a holy war. And we'll get started on this war right now. I don't see any reason to not do it. Where's that diplomat? Baluchistan, Timurids, Hejaz. Oh, I only have Reconquest. I actually don't have Holy War right now. Hmm. Slightly problematic. I could declare Holy War on Hejaz. That gets us to war with Kilwa. Alright, that works. Might suffer a little bit of attrition on the march back home, but it's okay. Looks like we actually picked up another heavy ship as well. So how are we going to get this achievement? Hmm. I need to just continue to convert, really. I mean, there's not too much else that I have to do. Convert everything that I can. And, uh... Continue to build boats and just send them up into that other node. Now, I mean, we are still war with, with Morocco, but Malacca's too far away. I think I can add these ships to the Great Britain node. And as soon as this uh, coring finishes, we'll actually have a huge boost to trade power. So maybe, maybe we'll be able to eke him out. That negative 44 is going to suddenly change by quite a bit. There's those cores, and it's instantly given us 26% instead of 40, or instead of like 15 or 16 or whatever it was. And that's without those extra ships there. Trading in cloth, cool. We still have half half of your trade power penalty. That's automatic just because we're in the wrong node. 
What happened to my navy? Why did it uh, switch to 0% that month? What just happened? Hmm. Kind of weird. Let's go ahead and make Kilwa into a co-belligerent, I think. I'm not worried about the Timurids. I'm not really worried about anybody. Just attack and kill everything. Baluchistan? This guy's so far away, he doesn't matter either. I guess we'll be conquering this land ourselves. Let's grab the siege leader. The combat leader. So siege leader goes to the capital. You split up four ways. And you take the four provinces adjacent to it, and we'll just kind of go. So Ethiopia is very rapidly becoming a, a country again. How long until we can annex you? 16, 20, we can do it already. So I can do it right now, or maybe as soon as this war is over, and then I can just continue to core stuff myself. It actually is still cheaper to... Um, it's 8 dip. But with a distant overseas coring cost reduction, I think that it's cheaper to core just by default. Because I am going to end up paying 8 Diplo for development, even though he's overseas. Oh, hi, Kilwa. <laughs> oh, you don't even have a real fort till down there. I am going to need to get an army down there. Hey, uh, Ethiopia, go for your course. You can do it. I have faith in you. be hearing that that sound a lot the culture conversion sound and then I'll probably do some some actual development I see why not back wipe squeeze do we have military access across the strait no. Alright, well, you four can turn, turn around then. Looks like Ethiopia doesn't want to listen to me and he's going to come this way. Which is kind of silly. Nasty disease outbreak. Attacking people who are behind you in tech and distant overseas is so fun and easy. So Portugal is winning their war here. But, I don't think it's really going to matter too much. Like, I don't I don't care. I don't really, like, have a vested interest in what happens to the New World Colonies. Like, it'd be nice if they became ours. It would certainly help trade power, but... It's really not the way that we're going to get the achievement. I mean, we could do it that way. I'd rather they meet up before they start marching. Beja, convert. The jazz. No. Not yet. Hey, you just gave me land. Morocco will cede Garb to Italy. Weird. I didn't actually want that, but okay. Thank you. I guess. I think he made me pay points for it and everything. Weird. 
Alright, well, I'm going to build some more boats, and we're going to quickly go check out how things are looking over in the uh, in that node. That's actually going to affect my overextension as well. That's kind of slow. I'll build them there. Yeah, well, it's only 12%. It's actually pretty minimalistic. 26% control here, so we're almost up to high enough that we can beat Great Britain. I do think that we want to declare that trade war. Let's do that next video. We'll take a break, take a break for now. We'll uh, finish the war up with Kill One and all that stuff down there. But while we're doing that, let's uh, take these heavies, this you know, this fleet up this way, and we're just going to blow up the English Navy. Should be fun. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.